Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation called App Initial Particle Based Object Manipulation. In this work, we care about the general rich body objects robot manipulation tasks, such as robot grasping, robot pushing, and placing, as well as many other manipulation tasks. Previously, the classical planning approaches, the author requires predefined 3D models to detect the 6D poles of the objects and then search for the best actions. It often has good understanding of the dynamics, but its lack is weak in the visual perception, and it has difficulties to deal with unseen objects. The recent data-driven approaches is good at visual perception, but lacks of the dynamics reasoning. The question is, can we find a new approach that sits in between and connects the visual perception to deal with unseen objects and also reasons about the dynamics and physics? We are proposing prompt, which is called particle-based object manipulation. The key is about the particle representation, which is a set of points inside the 3D space with different attributes. It has several merits. First, it connects to the visual perception. We can easily acquire the particle representation, the particle state from multi-view visual perceptions. Second, it connects to the dynamic reasoning. We can connect to a dynamic particle-based dynamics model to reason about the physics. For example, if we are trying to grasp the object with incorrect angles, it may result in a slip over, which is a failure case. By reasoning about the physics, we can find the best actions to perform. Lastly, generality. The particle representation has great potential to represent deformable objects such as clothes and liquids. Some people may ask, particle representation is not new, and why we cannot do it in the past, and why we can do it now. It is because nowadays we can afford much more computation power to have a better and faster particle-based simulation to enable the, the online reasoning. And that is also why we want to raise the attention to the particle representation in the robotics field. Let's have a closer look of what prompt is about. Firstly, we use the multi-view perceptions to reconstruct the particles, and after that we perform the reasoning with the planner to find the best actions, and we execute the action in the real world. Here is the, another example, which is the translucent wine glasses. We also show grasping various objects. So what is the overall structure of prompt? First, we are taking the RGB images and uh, we want to perform the masking uh, segmentation. And after that, we want to get the particle states. With the particle states, we are using the particle-based simulator to perform planning and execute in the real world. So how does the particle generator work? The key is to perform the key nearest chamfer distance, which is to minimize the distance between two sets of points between the sample points from the ground truth masking images and the reproject points from the reconstruct particle state. By minimizing the distance, we can easily reconstruct the particle representation with multi-view perceptions. Here are some examples. We can tell that it does not only work in the simulator, but it also works in the real world. And we, put, we are doing model predictive control and together with a particle-based simulator, such as the M NVIDIA Flex to perform the reasoning and find the best, uh, best actions. We test our approach in the real world with the robot grasping tasks. There are four sets of objects in the testing set, and some of them are even translucent objects. The results show that we are doing well in the real world, and we can even beat the baseline method. Push, grasp, and place. We also show a good generalization of our approach to various different robot manipulation tasks. For example, here we are doing a placing task without understanding the center of mass, the robot fails. And now we are trying to interact with the hammer to find out where is the center of the mass. After that, we can complete the task successfully. Lastly, we want to reiterate the particle representation. It requires no predefined 3D model, no large offline training, and it also generates to many of various manipulation tasks. Thank you.